On today's step-by-step -step tutorial, we're building a 30-inch upper cabinet. This design also has a 30-inch microwave cabinet attached. I built these out of pine and walnut, but you could use almost any kind of wood for this. <laughs> Let's start this cabinet by cutting out some 1x12s. You can also use 12-inch edge glued lumber. It's a little bit cheaper where I'm from. We'll need one that's 12 inches, four that are 28 and a half inches, two that are 30 inches, and two that are 29 and a quarter inches. Let's trim a quarter inch off of one side of the following board. The last few boards are gonna make up the top and bottom of the cabinet. I'm gonna cut a quarter inch notch out of one side of each one of these. This is so we won't see the edges of our plywood backing. Then let's put these together with an 18 gauge brad nailer and some wood glue. Those two 30 inch boards will make up the two sides of the big cabinet. The 28 and a half inch boards will make up the top, the bottom, and the middle shelves on this piece. You space the shelves how you want them. The 29 and a quarter inch boards are gonna make up the top and the bottom of our microwave cabinet. I attached that top board to the other cabinet with some pocket screws. There's a 10 and a half inch space between that top board and the bottom one. I just attached it with nails and wood glue from the inside of the other cabinet. Last but not least, that little 12 inch board just goes on the end there. This is a super simple design, guys. Anybody can make this if you just have some basic tools. For this cabinet, I'll attach the face with pocket screws. When you're using a hardwood like walnut, it can be kind of tough to match with a wood filler. If you're just using pine for your face, I would recommend just attaching the face with an 18 gauge brad nailer and some wood glue. The next part's one of my favorite parts to share. I actually use pocket holes to mount my cabinets. I measured where all my studs are gonna be and now I'm just putting pocket holes where those studs are gonna go. You might need a stud finder or a magnet to find yours, but it shouldn't be too hard. You know, I personally didn't need a stud finder. I knew right where he was. The next thing we'll do is we'll cut out some quarter inch pieces of plywood to go on the back of the cabinet. On those sides that don't have a notch cut out on them, I just take it to about a quarter inch from the edge. It's like on the rest of these walnut cabinets, I cut out my own one by twos for this next part. Once again, you can use regular 1x2s. Mine are just a little bit thicker than normal ones, but that won't matter for this build. What I'm really concerned about is the width, which is one and a half inches. Let's cut a few of these pieces. We'll need two at 30 inches, two at 12 inches, five at 27 inches, and one at nine inches. Now let's put two pocket holes on both sides of each one of these except for the 30 inch boards and the 12 inch boards. The 27 inch boards are gonna make up the top and bottom of each one of these cabinets and that middle board of the big cabinet. The 30 inch pieces will make up the sides of the big cabinet. And then those 12 inch boards will be the sides on the microwave portion. I attached the small microwave cabinet flush with the top of that bigger cabinet using pocket holes from the side. Then lastly, that nine inch board there goes in the center of the microwave cabinet. Pro tip, make sure you don't put this thing together backwards like I did the first time. Of course, I try not to let you ever see my mistakes. If you're using a fancy type wood like walnut on the outside, you'll want to stain your cabinets first before you put the face on. And here it is stained right before I do that. Now I'll just throw some wood glue and use those pocket holes with pocket screws to attach that face. Now you can either clear coat it now or wait until after you get it installed like I did. Here's a clip of the install of this particular cabinet. Please do keep an eye out. I do plan on showing you that video eventually. Now it's time to install our cabinet doors. I've got a separate video for you. I'll throw in the description on how to build these. I don't use complicated tools. I use a table saw and a miter saw. Be sure and check that out. Now I'm just installing these with the hardware provided. These two cabinet doors are actually gonna open away from the stove and the cabinet doors on the other side of the microwave will open the other direction. 
That's one of the awesome things about custom cabinets is you can do just about whatever cool little things you want to. Once we finish installing our cabinet doors, we'll finish out with a clear coat. This is a polycrylic I put on these cabinets. This is a super simple design and anyone with a little bit of patience and some decent tools can do this. Thanks for spending your time with me and keep hitting the I believe button. Bye.